Hi there everyone, Rob here with EarthquakeReport.com and today we take our attention to southern Peru just south of the capital city of Lima here where a 6.9 earthquake took place earlier today at approximately 1854 universal time that's about 0154 and the p.m. here locally in Peru this earthquake did cause some damage out here actually 17 reports of injuries right now 35 houses completely collapsed in the local areas out here and also there's some reports of some uh, churches that are going to be needed of demolishing here around the central area where this earthquake took place because of their instability that's those uh, churches out there but also there was a fear of a tsunami immediately after this earthquake and looks like a local tsunami likely did take place in the uh, low populated coastal areas up and down the coast here but immediately after the earthquake, the PTWC or the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center did issue a bulletin stating not a widespread tsunami uh, throughout the entire ocean basin was not likely yet a local tsunami could be possible out here and actually this graphic coming from GDAX out here just showing the uh, computer model generated showing the potential of a tsunami right up the coast here also you have some reverberation effect up here towards the north I don't think that really is uh, too plausible but really specifically just off the coast where the earthquake took place there was some reports of some retiring water specifically in the small town of Pisco right near the coast here and that's kind of indicative of a tsunami likely going to take place and actually if we pull up this little diagram here just to explain that real quick really before a lot of this water comes in it's going to want to suck the water back out the sea because of just the large wavelength associated with it so before this actually occurs the white wave is going to be more like this and it's going to be pulling it back in and then as it moves on shore all that energy goes with it well in this case looks like it leveled out before it came on shore in that coastal city there was not report of a significant tsunami and also if one did occur likely it would only be about one meter or less and also the good news is that most of the coastal area here outside of these small towns uh, really are low populated specifically south of Lima well south of Lima here a uh, really kind of a deserted area here actually just to the east of where this earthquake took place is one of the driest places on earth and therefore if there was a one a one meter tsunami up and down some of these uh, localized areas here I don't think it would have been actually recorded maybe if some people did see it but there's not gonna be no official recordings from it so a uh, good news is that it did not cause any damage but the bad news is that the earthquake itself this 6.9 magnitude was felt up and down the coast here and there has been some widespread of damage associated with it and actually this is the shake map from USGS here and specifically the city of Ica here just towards the northeast that's where a lot of these damage and injuries are being taken place out here also Pisco uh, off towards the north as well I really do apologize if I'm pronouncing some of these cities wrong but uh, really East Lebanese areas could have experienced some very strong to severe shaking out here and that is why we're seeing some of those houses being collapsed and also the injuries. Good news, at least here at EarthquakeReport.com, we have not received any information of any fatalities from this earthquake, so that's really just fantastic news coming out of this, especially in the wake of an earthquake we just had a week ago that killed upwards of 540 people out in Turkey. So with this one, it looks like it's just going to be injury based at this time, but still we're continuing to get information fed in from the localized area here and that's mainly only because a lot of the communications are down in here and actually this isn't really in that many reports coming out of the local area as far as what people actually felt and that's probably because communications are down due to down power lines down phone lines and nonsense and I'm sure as we go out throughout the rest of the day we're gonna get continue to get more reports and specific about the damage out there and hopefully we do not receive any reports of any fatalities but also this area is really prone to earthquakes it's the subduction zone boundary just off the coast here that's what this line's indicating right in here as the Pacific plate goes under the South American plate just right in this area and all these little dots up and down here well that's indicating 3.0 earthquakes or higher per the last 100 years so this entire region is well known and well very prone to earthquakes due to this boundary right in here it's not too often when they get earthquakes upwards of 7.0 in magnitude but uh, good news though is that it's uh, really known and very prone out here therefore people are ready for it but actually just a few years ago in 2007 a large earthquake hit similarly in this region here and that caused a lot of damage and a devastation throughout the region as well
And lastly, from a meteorological standpoint, we likely did have that sea slide under the coast here, and that's what caused that localized tsunami that really did possibly happen right in here. But as far as any landslides throughout this entire area, as noted earlier, this area right out here is one of the driest places on Earth out here. And really, uh, that's kind of good news because the ground's not going to be saturated. And you can see some clouds well out here towards the east, up in the Andes, and especially this is actually getting into the Amazon over here. So really, just up here and down the Andes, East Coast here, not expect any landslides or any mudslides or anything like that. So really fantastic news on that note. But that is all for right now, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as always, please post them here or at EarthquakeReport.com. That's EarthquakeTACReport.com. Plenty of information still coming in there. And also, if you have any reports on the ground here as well, please push them to the website as well. You can post them in the comment box there. That's where we get a lot of the information on these earthquakes. So have a great day, everybody. Stay safe out there.